All right, great. So now let's go back to our products tab here in our Shopify store. So we're no longer in the Printful app. Now we're looking at Shopify. And here you can see that um, it automatically synced our no code MBA t shirt here to Shopify. Um, here we can see that the inventory says zero in stock for seven variants. So, what that means is the shirt that we chose, uh, Printful, is out of stock in. So, let's go back to the app and let's go to Printful. And I think it was alerting us about this. So, let's go to our products. And here it says one of your sync products is out of stock. So uh, if you don't have an alternative, it'll take longer to process. So we want to check alternatives. All right, so a few things to keep in mind about the alternatives. Um, if you do set up alternative as opposed to just changing your product to be on a different um, t-shirt that's in stock, um, you're going to have to pay uh, the price of the alternative. Um, t-shirt which might be more or less expensive than the one that you originally chose you also want to be careful uh, to make sure you communicate with your customer that uh, it might be printed on a different uh, t-shirt um, there's a couple other things like if you have an inside a customized inside label um, it might not work on the alternative um, so that's just some things to keep in mind um, in our case let's just go ahead and set an alternative and here it's going to give you an example for the best alternative so let me just choose this and here you can see the price uh, the change in price is actually one less here than the out-of-stock product so I'm gonna go ahead and set alternatives okay perfect uh, so now I have an alternative if this is out of stock so let's go back to our products and uh, here we can click into our product on Shopify and you can see it automatically imported the size chart it automatically imported the description you can always edit this in Shopify it also automatically imported the uh, the media which is also very cool and here we have all the different variants and it also Shopify automatically creates a search or engine listing preview um, which is good for SEO so if someone is searching for a um, product similar to what you're selling Shopify will help people discover that on uh, Google or whatever search engine that they're using okay great so let's go into our uh, let's just leave the page um, collection so here you can see we have the home page collection uh, by default um, why don't we go ahead and create an, a collection and let's call this our staff picks collection and the collection type um, so this is very cool where you can have uh, the collection type be automated where the product tag is equal to um, something or it can be manual where you add products one by one into staff picks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have this be a manual collection type and let's just go ahead and save this. So we might use this later as a uh, staff picks collection. And let's click on our online store. So here, um, you can see there's different options here in your online store. There's themes. This is our default theme, and we're going to keep it with that default theme for now. Um, there's uh, free themes and there's paid themes that you can add to your store. Blog posts. Um, this is where you can create blog posts and just automatically create a blog for your um, product. Pages. This is where you can create new pa more pages for your online store, like a frequently asked questions section or a um, an about us section that type of things navigation this is where you can edit the links on the main menu and on the footer um, so like on the nav bar and the footer so you could link to different pages that you create um, domains this is where you would hook up um, uh, a, a domain that you either buy through Shopify or that you um, already have bought on a different platform like Namecheap and you want to connect it and point it to your store um, preferences um, this is just kind of um, some administrative things where you can add in um, uh, images here for when you share on Facebook. It'll show up in a certain way, your Google Analytics, um, Facebook Pixel for Facebook ads. Um, so there's kind of a, um, a handful of different preferences here um, that you can use for your online store. 
So let's go back to themes and let's go ahead and click customize.